Well, this is exciting. I had an email from DHL and I thought it was one of those standard phishing e emails, you know, send me $20 and we'll release your package. But I read it more closely and it turned out it was from Espressive. And when it came today, I looked at the packing list and it says these are gifts. So a gift from Espressive. That's fun. Let's open it up and see what they sent. It's a big box, by the way. So we'll slice it down each side. And the ends. I don't normally do a mailbag because mailbags are boring, but I thought this might be kind of interesting because it says some interesting things on the packing list. Oh my. This is nice. I guess they think I'm extra large, so it's extra large. Whatever it is. It's an extra large t-shirt. So you'll be able to tell who are the ESP32 users when you're out and about. Well, that's very nice. I shall try it on later. And what else have they sent me? Ooh. Oh, an ESP8684 dev kit. It's very small. That looks like fun. Shall we open it? Oh, look at that. That is beautifully packed. And with a three color LED on top. And micro USB. So I shall look that one up later and maybe we'll do a video on what we can do with that. What else? An ESP32 H2. Now this is awesome because I have been thinking about upgrading all my dev boards and wow look at this. Twin USBs so on the board debugging ESP32 H2. I'm looking forward to trying this. That will be a lot of fun. And look how small it is compared with the standard ESP32. Let me see. Oh, I've got one here. There's a standard room module, albeit without the antenna. Let me see if I can move this back into the middle. So a whole lot smaller. That's going to be a lot of fun. More videos to come. And an ESP32 C6 dev kit. Oh, there's so many projects coming up. And again, back to the standard. Looks like the new standard for uh, dev kits is two USB-C, so we don't need any uh, exterior debugging. We can run two serial ports at the same time. That's going to be just awesome. One for upload and one for debugging. And another one. Well, now I have an ESP32 C3 already. Now these are really cute. If you haven't seen one, they are just beautiful. The C3, almost an ESP8266 replacement, but what a beautiful board. Again, we're going to have lots of fun with that. Now, I left this till last because I saw what it was. And boy, am I looking forward to playing with this. I have a use for this. 
Oh boy, do I have a use for this. ESP32 S3 box. This is the one with the screen included. This is going to be great. So it says here we have AI voice interaction, voice wake up, offline, Chinese and English command recognition, and voice far field interaction, which I'm guessing means you can shout at it from a long way away. The user guides online and on the other side of the box it tells me p32 s3 with wi-fi and bluetooth with powerful ai acceleration what's included led module s3 and where to find all the other details so let's see what it looks like inside oh, one more security seal Oh, look at that, with three switches, a manual, check out the pinouts, this is going to be great fun to play with, let's see just what the, what the pinouts are here, I don't know if we can zoom in that far, oh yeah, so we have from right to left we have 5 volts and ground, I'm guessing that will be power in, and we have 3.3 volt outputs, ground, USB, GPIOs, a whole variety of them, and even chip select. So we've got SPI. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. That can be a lot of fun. We have a speaker. We covered that side already. So we have USB C, and I'm guessing these are the programming buttons and a bare side three program three buttons uh, for selecting stuff on the top as well so i'm going to see what firmware is uh, loaded up on this and we'll take a short break and come back and see how it is let me tidy up okay it's the moment of truth we'll take the plastic off first i don't like to take plastic off some people do some people don't why don't you put in the comments below whether you like to take the plastic off before You've tested it. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Pretty logo. Expressive. Go backward. Click to confirm. Go forwards. Okay, I can understand that. Function cu button. Customers by user. Reset button. Okay, that's the buttons on the side here. Okay. So we have the function button customized by the user. So we can write some code for that, I guess. Let's see if we can get the focus back, please. Oh, I'm gonna lift it up. Okay, why don't I lift it up? Reset button. Okay, next. Steps for voice assistant. Say hi, ESP, to wake up the device. Oh, and it woke up. Stop. Time out. See you next time. Oh, that's cute. Wait for the word shows on the screen and say command like turn on the light. Oh, yes, we can uh, have fun with this. Default command words are turn on the light, switch off the light, turn red, turn green, turn blue, sing a song, next song, and pause playing. So shall we try it? Device control, network, media player, help, about us. Let's have a look at about us. Version 3, English, light. I'm guessing it's this button to go back. Oh, I see. Confirm. There we go. Uh, back. No. Nope. Back. Oh, I see. You have to use the enter key for everything. As a media player. Device control. 
Hi, ESP. Turn green. Okay. Hi, ESP. Turn red. So I'm guessing this is meant to be a voice controller for external devices and it's not actually going to do anything on the screen. So more reading required. Device control. Let's see what's on the menu. Oh, you can control light, switch, fan or the air conditioning. Okay. That looks good. Network. Open. Oh yeah. So I can scan this on my phone. Except I'm taking the video with my phone. So we won't do that. We'll try that later and we'll do another video on this. Media player. Canon.mp3. Can we play it? Well, I don't know if you can hear that. And it's a little bit tinny, but hey, it's not bad for a tiny speaker. We'll go to help. And that was just the bit we saw already. Okay, well, I guess that about wraps it up for my uh, mailbox and our initial play. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you uh, enjoyed this video and we will get some more videos done on in more detail of what we've discussed here. Thanks very much for watching.